Hi everyone, uh, this is Kevin again. I hope everyone had a good holiday and New Year's. Uh, there's a lot of things coming up in January, obviously with the US Open coming up. Uh, they retained their uh, G2 status, so it's going to be a big event. Um, it's in Orlando this year. And I have to drive there because i got to bring all this equipment. <laughs> but everyone else is uh, flying. I hope you guys have a good and safe flight to the US Open. Um, there's uh, Over the holidays, there's been a lot of chatter, and so I just want to clear some things up real quick. So there's been talk of, you know, one group, you know, getting a special USAT sanction, and you got to wear this particular uniform, and there's just, there's a lot of rules, but let's clear it up. And this, just so you know, I'm, I'm not only, uh, I'm not only a uh, part of True Score, but I, I for those that are a little bit younger, I used to actually be an athlete. <laughs> so I've been at this, you know, I was at the Junior Olympics from 84 or 85 on to uh, until 92 or 3. And then from there on out, I was a senior. So, um, so I've seen these trends and changes and other groups try and come in and um, other vendors, they come in and they try and confuse everyone. So let's set the record straight. Um, it's just... Look, if you have WTF approved equipment, no matter what it is, uh, there. If you have WTF approved equipment, you're good. You're good as far as competing. Oh, it doesn't matter. You you know, a, a national organization cannot trump the WTF organization as far as mandatory equipment. So, that's just it. I mean, obviously, you know, we're WTF approved, but uh, so you got Dato, which is us. Uh, we're WTF approved. You got you got Mudo. You have uh, Adidas, they're WTF approved. Um, Wakoku, I'm looking at it on my screen. I can't even pronounce it right. <laughs> um, but there are a few others. And what I'll do is, um, if you guys are confused about what brands are WTF approved or not, uh, I'll go ahead and on this video post down below right here, I'll go ahead and put it. It's it's basically, if you go to WT, uh, World Taekwondo Federation uh, dot net forward slash uh, recognize that's what it is so I'll make sure I cut and paste that after the video so you guys can see it below it you go right to that website and when you're there it'll explain all the approved WTF approved equipment so whether it's local or whatnot there there might be certain dealings some people are confused don't worry about it just as long as you have WTF approved equipment um, you're good competing anywhere whether it's the US Especially US Open, when you go to international events, even when I was competing, this was I was on the team in 96, 97, they were checking us for a WTF approved equipment back then. And that was a standard. I think back then it was Pine Tree and and Prospect and all those companies are gone now. But <laughs> uh, but Data was around back then too, and they were approved as well. Um, Adidas was approved back then. So, I mean, that'll give you an idea. That, that's always been around. Uh, some countries, like in Germany, uh, uh, years ago, they they made it mandatory that uh, any competitor at their national championship had to be Adidas or something like that. But even Adidas was WTF approved, so if you got that equipment, you can go on to the next level and still be okay. So you didn't have to spend money on different equipment. Anyway, that's there was I, I saw on Facebook and all these other places, and I had my buddies calling me. Just, saying, can you believe what's going on? I tell them, just, you know, calm down. And these are customers of ours anyway. As long as, you know, if you have Dato or Mudo or Adidas or any of the other, I think there are three other companies, um, then you're good. You'll be fine as far as competing, whether, whether it's statewide or, or nationals or uh, obviously the U.S. Open, everything has to be WTF approved. Uh, so I hope we... Uh, I hope we cleared up every, any questions you might have about the approval and what's approved and not like like I said before there's there's a lot of um, a lot of questions like what equipment should I get make it easy just get WTF approved equipment and you're good for any tournament you go to from uh, state championship all the way up to world championships even the Olympics that's just a heads up um, I just wanted to let you know we uh, we and I advertised this about a month ago but we did launch a, uh, a competition website you go to truescore.com and you can click on TKD competitions or this is even better as I said before we teamed up with IBRM which is a marketing firm and they created and we're helping launch 
uh, tkdcompetitions.com. That's competitions plural with an S at the end. So, and again, I'll I'll put that at the bottom for you. But the uh, the website is specifically for competitors and promoters. So what you can do is um, you can earn true score points and all that's explained at the um, uh, at the website. Uh, you can promote your events at no charge. You can see what events are close to you. We even have little deal on that you know a little uh, a map that with um the markers on it so you can see which competitions are close to you uh coming out this year we're not going to put it up just yet but you'll see it at uh, us open coming out this year we're going to have a certified logo with the true score certification on it and the reason why we're doing this is because a lot of people they um uh, a lot of promoters have hired people that have bought our equipment that are going in running the promoter's events. And, and that's great. I you know That's a second side business. I, 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 I'm very proud that maybe we created a secondary market for that. That's great. I mean, we're no eBay, but I mean, that's, that's great that people wanna do that. The problem is a lot of these people that are going in, uh, they buy our equipment, but they're not necessarily, maybe they use it maybe once every other month. Whereas our team, we use it every single day. Uh, whether we're testing, whether we're upgrading, um, whether we're going to events, using them on the floor. When I say the floor, I don't mean like a four ring, six ring event. I'm talking nationals for 18 to 20 rings. There's a lot of things you have to know when you run the run events of that caliber. And um, uh, a lot of people, you know, we, we've gotten bad press because people have gone out there and maybe they were a little uh, confused as to how to run or what to ask for in certain uh, environments. Uh, we even... Uh, you know, we even run in, into that at the U.S. Open and Nationals. There are certain things I have to call ahead and make sure certain channels are freed up so that everything is seamless and there's no interruptions and 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 for any wireless traf traffic. We've done that in London, um, so it's not anything out of the ordinary. Uh, but it's just like I said, um, because of all the confusion and and people thinking that we're maybe running an event, we came up with the True Score certified logo. So wherever you see that event, and you'll see it on that TKD competitions. So one of the, if you ever see that logo, and I'll come out with another one of these videos and show you, when you see that True Score certified logo, just come by the booth and you'll be able to see it at US Open. When you see that, you know it's one of our crew, someone that uh, has the latest equipment, has the latest software, obviously um, well-trained, uh, if you don't see that logo, it's not us. And don't blame us. Blame whoever they hired or you hired. <laughs> but that's been going on a lot. So we had to, you know, we had to kind of go through that. Um, there are people that we work with very closely that know the equipment very, very well. On that certification, uh, that True Score certification emblem, in order for it to be uh, used at your event so people know that it's actually an Olympic technician. Uh, you have to call us directly. My number will be down here below. And uh, you can go through us and we can uh, recommend a certified technician to go to your event. Or, um, or you can become certified yourself. So either way, uh, the information will be below. Go to tkdcompetitions.com. And again, uh, in the future, uh, you'll see that certification. A lot of people, they don't. we don't want to just display it just yet. Um, we're creating a way to where you can't just cut and paste it. A lot of people do that too, right? <laughs> we're creating a way to where if you see it uh, online, you can uh, you know it's us, but also you can't grab that image and use it um, maliciously. <laughs> Not you, but you know whoever would do it. You know, there's always somebody out there. So, um, but swing by the booth. Uh, we'd love to show it to you and show you the other events that we're um, uh, that we're sponsoring this year. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's been a great new year so far. We're kicking off strong. We have a tournament, at least three tournaments every weekend until U.S. Nationals. So uh, it'll be a busy year for us. If you have any questions, need help with anything, as always, our corporate office is open to you. You have our number below. You can go to truescore.com. Click on uh, distributors. You'll see a map. All you have to do is click on your state. And the closest distributor will pop up with their contact info. Uh, you can always get a hold of one of us that way. All right. Thank you very much. You take care. See you at US Open.